In this video, we're going to learn about how we can maintain the material master data in S4 HANA system. In the next videos, we're going to learn more in depth and the uh, simplification provided with the material master data that we'll see in the um, next videos. So the topics we'll be covering in this video, they are the material master apps and maintaining material master in S4 HANA. So let us start with, we'll see what are the apps available for the material master, maintaining the material master. So let me go to the system. So here on the, uh, on the browser, if you search for the app, if I search under app and it was search for say material, it will now bring up all the apps that have that got the text as uh, material. So here you can see these are the main ones change material, create material, display material. Now these are it's not showing advanced but, but these are the advanced apps. Now if you remember that I talked about it in the one of the previous video that what are the advanced apps. So when I say advanced that means they are the basically the GUI transaction available on the web UI. So if I click on it, if I click on say create one, it will open another session and show me the GUI transaction via the web browser. Same thing if I open the chain material one, same thing it will show me the uh, GUI transaction via the web browser. So, so here if you if you search for any material, maintain any material, if I go here, if I maintain a material, so creating a material here or creating a material in GUI is exactly same, not much difference. So here I'm going to show you how you can create one material. So I'm going to create a new material here and uh, I'll be creating it for the say the org structure that I created in the previous video. So here I'll, I'll, I'll create a material called say I'll call it shaft. One, two, three, for example, and select the material uh, industry sector, mechanical engineering, and material type I will be using um, is the third. The thing, the point to be noted here is it doesn't show you the key here. That's, that's a bad thing. If I search for say finished goods, there might be that three or four different types of finished products. So I don't know which one is the right one linked to the third. So what I'm going to do is just to keep it um, um, easy, I'll be creating a material here in MM01. So you can either create it here or on the web UI, it will be exactly the same. So let me create it here. So I'll create it, say shaft one, two, three, for example, and then I go to the next step mechanical engineering and my product will be FERT I'll be using FERT and um, but in your system you if it's clean like in this system many other students might have created some other material type and they call it finished product that's why it's confusing but in, if you are, in your system if it's clean system then you can you can use the web browser or other thing you can do is you can go to the customizing of the material type and you can change the description for the finished product and the bracket put something like FERT or something that you can recognize is the FERT one. So let me create it here. So I'll, I'll enter here. So here I'll select basic data and also I'll select purchasing data, MRP, one, two, three, four views, work scheduling view, and also the accounting and costing views. That's all and I'll click on continue. Here I enter my plan that I created before ZZMM and it will show you the plant here and also the uh, storage location was there were two storage location one was called prod and I will use it I'll continue. So here's asking me for the description so I will call it shaft one two three for example one two three shaft one two three. And then give it a. I'll, I'll go through all the mandatory fields first. So, the basic unit of measure will be say each. Then I will be selecting a material group. So select something, anything you like. So say just material group one. So keep pressing enter. We'll go through the next steps, 
and if there's any mandatory field it will ask me so here it's asking me for the mrp type i'll call it pd mrp controller let me search for it what are the available ones so 001 i'll be using press enter now it's asking for the lot size let me search for the lot size i'll use ex lot for lot order quantity press enter press enter there's a warning keep pressing enter and go through all the tabs so it's asking for valuation class so search for the available valuation class 7920 is a standard one i'll select it press enter 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 and say yes so my material is created here shaft one two three so same material if i on the web ui if you if i go to the change one if i search for shaft see it's it's picking up the one so there's two one called shaft one something z and there's another one called shaft one two three if i select it you can open on the web browser as well so like this i'll continue zzmm prod enter so you can display the material on the web browser you can even change it here if you want for example if i put a dot here if i put a dot here the point to be noted is you might get confused with the save button please note that the save button is on the bottom right hand side so we'll see my where my cursor is so here is the save button i'll save it here done so that's how you can open or create a material on the web browser or create in gui same thing so that's how you can um, you can maintain the material in the s4 hana system is pretty much same like what we have done in sap cc the only thing is the extra fun functionality available on the web uh, web browser and there's a third app as well which is for display material which is exactly same it's instead of changing it will show you that in the display mode so that's that's all about this so in this lecture we learned about the material master applications available uh, on the fury launchpad and also how we can maintain uh, the material master in s4 hana thank you very much to watch this